Could you perhaps give us a wee bit of insight in the process of making a dispersion? Okay. Um, good morning, Stuart. Morning. Okay. And I guess most pigments come in the form of, of a, a, a dry pigment powder or a CDP. It's a crude dry press cake and you sometimes get it as wet form. But essentially, in order to make a pigment concentrate, you need to make a really finely dispersed um, slurry um, of that pigment in a suitable grinding me medium um, and also incorporate different additives and uh, surfactants that make it compatible later on in the different um, end applications. So the first step would be the, the wet out step. And um, we do pigment dispersions here from very small scale, a um, few hundred kilos right up to 25 tons. Um, and the first stage, the dispersion stage, what you want to do there, you want to wet out and homogenize the pigment powder into a very homogeneous, fine slurry in the chosen um, dispersion medium. Um, and you do this by putting a lot of energy in. Um, so there, there would be a lot of high speed mixing um, done very gradually and very carefully. And once it's totally homogenous, the next stage, um, most of our pigment dispersions, apart from um, the fluorescence and perhaps some of the whites um, are, 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 are mills. And we use horizontal bead mills here. Um, and basically they work almost like you think a pestle and mortar where you're actually um, putting a lot of energy, a lot of attrition in there, and you're grinding the pigment particle down between um, a grinding medium, which is usually a ceramic type ball um, um, or glass, um, depending on the type of mill you're using. And you imagine the collation forces there trap the pigment particle along with the dispersion agents and additives you have there and break the particle down into smaller and smaller, smaller particles. Um, in order to get the maximum colour value and brightness of most um, pigments, you want to get the pigment particle size down to a very fine and very uniform distribution. Um, in this case, nearly all our pigment dispersions are, are sub-micron, generally below 0.3 microns. Um, so you, you, you have your wet out stage, everything's totally homogenous. Um, and once you're at that stage, then you can grind it. And as I said, we use horizontal bead mills. Some people would use basket mills or um, would use um, natch mills or, or, or whatever. Um, but the, essentially what you're trying to do is get a nice uniform um, distribution of particles by grinding the pigment down in the grinding vehicle. Um, there are dispersion agents or factors there to help that. And also, do you, once you break a particle down, a particle wants to try to, to stick back together again. So you need to coat the surface of the pigment with a suitable um, wetting agent and, and surfactant to, to keep those particles apart in the later stages. So you've got your wet out stage, your dispersion stage, and then finally, once there's a lot of flab tests done to ensure you get to the optimum um, it, particle size and distribution, and um, you will then extract it from the mill and you have your standardization stage. Um, and this will be specific maybe to certain customers, what you're standardizing to against certain um, standards. And once this is done very carefully, um, it, will, it will be tested in whatever end application um, the, the product is um, being manufactured for, be it coatings or textile printing. Um, the lab would work out the additives and water cuts and rheology modifiers, whatever, to get to that finished stage. And then the final stage would be the packing off stage. So here in TTC, we pack off into anything from small containers, 30 kilo kegs, 100 kilo, 200 kilos, right up to one ton, um, ABC's transit tanks. So basically that is very short and sweet 